There have been a lot of changes to the B.O.B. and the Brunig line since we made our earlier series of films. On the Brunig there have been whole fleets of brand new trains, changing the line from basically loco haul to EMU operation. The steam runs in 2013 mark the last season for loco 1067 whose certificate has now expired and requires a complete overhaul. And on the B.O.B. Their two vintage locos and vintage carriage set were finishing operations before moving on to new homes. We were lucky enough to be there to film the final runs for these two veterans. The valley services between Interlark and Eastern Myringen are now entirely operated by the Class 130 Stadler units. These first entered service in 2005 and are not rack equipped. This is a departure from Interlaken East and we caught up with another unit at Eblingen later in the day. The first of the new sets to enter service are these three car units class 160. Rack and adhesion equipped they will be used to run right through to Lucerne or to augment the valley services to Miringham. Also brand new for this year are these seven car sets for the Lucerne services. Fully air conditioned, low floor and with a bistro, they're exclusively for the Lucerne Interlaken Express. Until these are fully deployed, it's nice to see that there are still some loco haul trains, albeit being operated in a push-pull mode. Class 101 still handle a few of the Lucerne services. Almost certainly this is the last year of operation for these venerable 110s. 72 years old, 
but still going strong. As far as the 2013 steam runs are concerned over the Brunig, this is 1067 on its positioning run to Maringham before the weekend of normal operation up to Gizville. This is Lungern on one of the return journeys. Loco 208 normally operates between Interlaken and Maringen and we see it here at Oberied and later arriving at Interlaken East and being shunted back into the shed.
Now to the BOB. Nothing's changed on the normal services here, with the trains operating as two seven-car sets splitting at Svilucina. but there were some special runs using the vintage coaching set and locos this year. Firstly, this is Railcar 302 with the BOB's vintage stock. This loco, built in the late 40s, is normally relegated to shunting duties at Svilucina. Over the weekend, however, the local model railway club and the BOB decided to commemorate the withdrawal from service of all the vintage stock and the two vintage BOB locos. There were to be two runs on consecutive days, one from Interlaken to Grindelwald and one from Interlaken to Lauterbrunnen. Leaving Svilucin and Frintelarkum, we can see that they're using both locos. This is required at the far ends of the line because there's no longer any run round facilities. Wildersville on day one.
Day two at Zwei Lucina, and in typical Swiss railway event tradition, the weather was absolutely appalling. This is the set returning from Grindelwald. Apparently the BOB only have two drivers still working that are qualified to drive these locos. This really was the end. The two locos are going to new homes, one on a plinth at Spilucinen and one to the Blonny Shawnby Railway. The coaches are also moving on, one to the DFB, one to the Blonny Shawnby and one to La Traction. It's highly unlikely we'll see these coaches and locos on the BOB again.